Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, okay, hold on, hold on, let me just check the stop for a second. So we gotta get 46 stops down, but uh, I have plenty of time for today's live stream. I figured the bus would be the perfect place to do that while I'm here anyway. So let's get started with our intermediate level lesson. So here's the full form, and this actually has two forms in it. You take an action verb stem and you attach pa and optionally ga. Then the verb marda followed by optionally ga. And then hada at the end, which will be conjugated. And there are actually two forms inside of here. The first one is just like that and ends with marda. And the second one has the whole thing and ends with hada. So what does this mean? The literal meaning of this form is simply a combination of paga with marda. Marda is a verb that means to not do or to stop doing something. And paga means that some action interrupts another action. In action, some sort of verb interrupts another action so that it never actually finishes. So if we were to combine these two, we get the meaning of doing some action verb, but then it gets interrupted. So we never finish this action verb. So while we're doing this action verb, marda, we stop. So doing something and then stopping doing that action. So hadabarda literally means you're doing something and then you stop doing it without finishing it. If we combine it, we can get to do something but then stop doing it and then to do it. First, let me give you some examples of how to use this form like this with just marda at the end. 눈이 너무 많이 와서 여행을 가려다 말았어요. What is this karyoda part? So it's just a shortened version of karyogohada. So karyoda. So intending to or going to go on a, a trip. 눈이 너무 많이 와서 여행을 가려다. So I was intending to go on a trip. I never got to do this trip because something interrupted it. So I ended up not going on a trip even though I was gonna go. So I was gonna go on a trip but I ended up not going. A more natural translation would be something like I gave up trying to go on a trip. 눈이 너무 많이 와서 여행을 가려다 말았어요. So I gave up trying to go on a trip because it snowed so much, too much. But most of the time, this form is actually used together with hada at the end. So you take this exact same form. You get an action verb stem plus ta, optionally ta ga. Then you attach mar ta, optionally ka, and then hada. So you do something and then you don't do it. And that's what you do. So to do something on and off would be a natural way you can translate this. And then you'll conjugate hada at the end. You will not ever conjugate these. If you're using only marda at the end, then you will only conjugate marda. So let's do some example sentences. 어제는 하루 종일 비가 오다 말다 했어요. It rained on and off yesterday, all day. 어제는 하루 종일, so yesterday, all day. 비가 오다 말다 했어요. So it was like raining eh, and then stopping and starting and stopping and starting. 비가 오다 말다 했어요. So it was raining on and off all day yesterday. 어제는 하루 종일 비가 오다 말다 했어요. 운전을 하다 말다 해서 아직도 잘 못해요. 운전을 하다 is to drive. 운전을 하다 말다 해서 아직도 잘 못해요. 운전을 하다. Marda, and you stop driving. So you're driving and then you stop driving. Heso, because of that, ajikto still tar well boteo. I can't drive well still. I still can't drive well because heso, I've been doing driving on and off. I can't drive well still because I only do it occasionally. Like I do it sometimes, but then I'll stop for a while and then I'll do it again. So because of that, ajikto tar boteo. Unjaner hada marda heso, ajikto tar boteo. 이 펜은, this pen, 자꾸, it keeps, 나오다 말다, the ink comes out, but then it doesn't. I can't use this pen, because it frequently stops working. It's working, but kind of on and off. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. So because of that, 못 쓰겠어요. 드라마를 보다 말다. So I was watching a drama on and off, 했더니, and as a result, because of that, 무슨 내용인지 하나도 모르겠어요. Not even a little bit, not even one, literally. So not at all. I don't have a clue. 무슨 means what. 내용 means contents. But you can think of it as like what it's about. What's the contents of this drama? What's going on? Who are the characters? 무슨 내용인지 하나도 모르겠어요. I don't have a clue what's going on because 드라마를 보다 말다. Because I was just watching the drama on and off. 
드라마를 보다 말다 했더니 So because I was just watching a drama on and off, 무슨 내용인지 하나도 모르겠어요. So I don't have a clue what it's about. 학교를 가다 말다. So going to school and then not going to school. So going to school on and off. 했더니 So I was just going to school on and off and as a result, 친한 친구, close friends, 한 명도 없어요. I don't even have one close friend because I was just going to school on and off. 학교를 가다 말다 했더니 친한 친구가 한 명도 없어요. 이번에도 하다 말다 할 거면 그냥 하지 마세요. 이번에도 하다 말다 할 거면 그냥 하지 마세요. 이번에도, so this time again, this time also. 하다 말다 할 거면. If you're just going to do it and then stop doing it and then do it again, 그냥 하지 마세요. Just don't do it. But that doesn't capture the feeling. Yeah, you're doing it, but then you just stop. That has a negative feeling to it. It's not the same as saying that you're doing something occasionally. It also can mean in a negative sense, that you're not really putting your heart into something. You're not even trying. You're just like, yeah, I'm gonna do it, and you stop, whatever, and doing it again. So, hada marda can also be used to convey that sort of meaning. So, if you're just gonna like do it on and off, don't even do it, literally, but more like, if you're not even gonna try, if you're not even gonna put your effort into it, if you're just gonna do it half-heartedly, just don't do it. Don't do it if you're not even gonna try. That sort of meaning. 이번에도 하다 말다 할 거면 그냥 하지 마세요. There is one exception when you can use this with descriptive verbs. This is an idiom. 좋다, optionally, 가, and then past tense of 말다. Literally something like, it was good, and then it wasn't. So that would be like saying it stopped before it got good. Or it was almost good because it didn't get there, but it was almost there and it stopped. This is an idiomatic expression similar to saying, I almost had it. Or maybe they almost had it, or we almost had it. It was so close. It was almost good. So let me give you an example. BTS가 상을 받을 줄 알았는데 좋다 말았어요. 알았는데 I thought that 줄 or literally I knew that BTS would get a 상. 상 is an award. I thought that BTS would get the prize. I thought they would win. 좋다 말았어요. It was good, but then it wasn't good. It was almost good. They almost had it. BTS가 상을 받을 줄 알았는데 좋다 말았어요. You also might see this form where instead of marda, you might see the same verb repeated with an before it, instead. So instead of saying hadaga mardaga, you might hear hadaga an hadaga hada. This has the exact same meaning as if you had put marda here. This version with an is slightly less common. This one sounds more like something you would only use in a conversation. A little bit less standard. So some people might prefer this. So let's do an example sentence with this. 철수는 변호사 시험. So 변호사 means lawyer. So the lawyer test, literally the bar exam. 변호사 시험 공부를 하다 안 하다. So he's studying for the bar exam, 하다, but then not studying it, 안 하다. 했는데도 even though he was only studying for the bar exam on and off, 시험에 붙었어요. He still passed the test despite only doing studying on and off. 철수는 변호사 시험 공부를 하다 안 하다 했는데도 시험에 붙었어요. Even though Charsu was only half-heartedly studying for the bar exam, he was still able to pass. That is the end of our lesson today. So thank you for coming. I will see you again next time. 그럼 다음에 또 봐. It's my bus stop. Let's go. Let's get off the bus. 잠시만요. Grab my books. Got my wallet. Got my lesson. I <laughs> can't forget my lesson. All right, guys. See you guys. Bye. Oh, no. I forgot my cell phone on the bus. Ah!